Windows PCs come with a plethora of apps, features, and junk whether you want it there or not. And sure, Windows lets you remove some of it, but what if you had the power to remove anything? This is Nico Knows Tech. Nico Knows Tech, all your tech tips and reviews on deck. Nico Knows Tech, number one channel with the news on deck. Uninstalling multiple applications at once can be really time consuming when you have to go one by one through add and remove programs. In addition, many apps refuse to be uninstalled or at least leave traces behind, and that can affect stability and performance of the machine. In addition, many Windows features don't even have an uninstall option. The tool that we're going to need for today is called Bulk Crap Uninstaller or BC Uninstaller. You can get the link in description here at bcuninstaller.com. We're going to go ahead and download it off of FossHub and you'll see that there's two options here. There's the portable and the installer and portable. The portable is going to operate out of a folder and doesn't have to be installed on the operating system. Both function identically. We're going to go ahead and get the portable for the purpose of this video. Once you're done downloading BC Uninstaller, you can go ahead and run it or install it depending on the route you went. We have the portable, so we're just going to run it. And once you open it, it's going to scan for all applications, uninstallers, and features of Windows for your particular machine. The next thing that's going to come up is the setup menu. Now for this, if you are not an IT or an advanced level user, I would recommend just skipping this part like we're going to do now because as this is an IT level tool, this can break windows if you don't know what you're doing, which is the purpose of this tutorial is to guide you, no matter what your skill level is, on how you can use some of these features. For this tutorial, we're going to go ahead and click continue. We're not going to change anything here. We're going to just click continue, 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 all the way up until the end, and then we're going to finish setup. We can go ahead and close this. Now what you'll find in this initial list is all of the applications and components that you can safely remove from Windows using the add and remove programs. Including any applications that might not have installers, this can remove any of them. And to select multiple applications and make this easier, over here at list view settings, we're going to click select using checkboxes. And this will allow us to check as many applications we want, and we can uninstall them all at the same time. Now to go a step further, we can click show protected items and show system components. And this will let us remove features of Windows that we don't want. Features such as the camera, Windows Store, um, paint, things that are components of Windows 10, we'll be able to remove them as well. We're going to select by publisher here so that we can find all of the Microsoft uh, published information here. So we see Microsoft here. So if we want to remove Paint 3D, Store Experience Host, Microsoft Store, Microsoft Photos, we can remove features here. We can also remove Microsoft Edge, however I'm going to have another tutorial tomorrow on how to do that as Microsoft Edge will end up just coming back. Our connected world is under attack by ravenous wolves we commonly call hackers, identity thieves, and scammers. Gone are the days where some common sense was sufficient enough to ensure a safe online experience. Now is the time to put a sheepdog in between you and the wolves by getting ESET, the premier security suite recommended by experts and used by yours truly for the better part of a decade. ESET combines the highest malware detection rates as well as a hardened firewall and state-of-the-art intrusion detection system to protect your Windows PC, Linux machines, Macs, and even phones from threats large and small, with the ability to detect and stop even a human hacker on your network. Use my exclusive partner link in description to get $20 off ESET internet security, smart security, and even business products. So the list as is when you first get to the application is all of the applications and features that you can safely remove and can typically be removed through add and remove programs whether or not they have an installer or not. Now what you'll first do is you want to select using checkboxes on list view settings here on the left and this will allow us to select multiple applications at once to uninstall them all at the same time. We can go ahead and select any desk here. I'm going to remove a few items here that I need to remove. Once you've checked all of the boxes of the applications you want to remove at this point, you can go ahead and click uninstall. And uninstall quietly is another option which is mostly meant for ITs who are automating massive uninstalls on a large scale. So they will want less checkboxes, less necks and accepts. But for the regular home user, I would not recommend doing that because sometimes you want to have some user input onto how the uninstalls happen. 
So I'm only uninstalling um, three applications. You can install as many as you want. And you could check some to be quiet, meaning you don't want to have any kind of boxes. It'll automatically click OK for most, most cases. So once they're all checked uninstall, we can click continue. And then it's going to check if any applications are running that need to be um, killed, such as with end task. So we're going to kill all and click OK. Then we can click continue because there's no more applications in the list. Okay. And here for this case, I want you to just leave these as, as it is and then click continue. Then after that, it's going to tell us what we're going to do first. It's going to begin instant uninstallation. The first thing it's going to do is it's going to create a restore point, which is very important because if you remove something that causes unwanted changes to the operating system, you can at least roll back your operating system to where it was before you did any of this. Okay, and since we didn't uninstall quietly, it is going to confirm some things. I do want to uninstall this feature. Okay, that was completed. It's going to go to the next thing. Now it's uninstalling the rest. And we're going to uninstall. All right. And once it is completed, it's going to say finished, and it's going to give you a list of everything it was done. We can click close. And then now it's going to ask you want to look for leftovers, such as files that are in your user directory, as well as registry entries. We're going to click yes. Now here is where you have to pay close attention because you have to pay attention to the confidence score here. These are all registry keys that are left by the applications we just uninstalled. Now the confidence on this is very good on any desk and these are good. If the confidence is not good and it's only moderate or low, that means there's a high risk of there being some kind of stability or problem with Windows after you kill those registry keys. So I recommend that if you don't have a confidence score of good or very good, don't remove those entries as registry entries in my opinion are not a big deal on leftover products. So we can delete selected since all of these are very good or good. And then here you can create a registry backup. I always recommend creating a backup of the registry. You'll name the file and click enter. Okay. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and save it in documents. So we'll select folder. All right, and we've completed that first part. The next thing I'm going to show you is how to remove features of Windows that were not originally designed to be removed. And for that, okay, hold up for just one minute. I've completed the part of the tutorial that was targeting all users of all skill levels. And up to this point, there's been no risk to your data or the integrity of your machine. Moving forward, please be advised that I take no responsibility for any losses to data or anything else on your machine, because we are going into an area that targets enthusiasts, modders, and people who like to experiment with Windows, and there can be some risks, especially to the integrity of Windows itself. So please be advised as we continue through this tutorial. Now if you look under the Microsoft section, you can see that we have several components here which we can safely remove. However, it's not giving us access to things like Microsoft Edge or Security Center. <clears throat> so we would have to, over here on the left side of the screen, we're going to click on the, under Filtering, Show System Components, and Show Protected Items. Now if we look under the Microsoft section, we can see Narrator, um, Windows Search, Captive Portal, and of course Microsoft Edge Security Center. So we could remove Microsoft Edge. However, I do advise you to wait for my tutorial tomorrow as I'm going to show you a permanent solution which is much more stable. Um, you can remove the camera. <clears throat> now again, I already gave you a warning. You know, this is totally experimental territory. Some people have been very successful. I've been very successful removing a lot of things from Windows for different purposes. But it, there, there's always trade-offs. So you want to research how you want to do it. And if you look online, there are some of these components which are completely safe to remove. Okay, once you've decided to uninstall, it's going to give you a warning when you click uninstall, Windows Security and Microsoft Edge, and you have to click remove. I'm not going to remove Windows Security because I do know that that's actually a problem. And uh, then you'll go through the same process. Congratulations on making it to the end of the video. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you like it, please click like and consider subscribing. You can also follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and I will see you next time.